فعاش القلب وإخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير When we do a deed, it's important for us to try our best to hide the deed. Allahu Akbar. Now one might say, what do you mean? What this means is, sometimes we do know it's encouraging when we have the intention of encouraging others to do a deed that others would know. Like for example, if here we are collecting money for a good cause, a very good cause, and someone would, or we are to announce in public, brothers and sisters, put up your hands and donate something. And a man says, I donate $5. And the man next to him says, I donate $10. The intention should be that I am saying it aloud so that others can actually compete with me in goodness. That is permissible. Did you hear what we've just said? It's permissible if you are doing it with the intention that look, I'd like others to compete with me in goodness. And this is shown by the action of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. When the Prophet sallallahu made an open announcement for donations, they came in with certain percentage. The other one came in with more and they looked at each other and said, now this one will not be able to come with more than I will. And then the other one, Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu came with everything he had. And this was the competition that they had. It was for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no contamination in that but sometimes we may publicize it if it is for the right reasons however when it is not necessary to publicize it let it be between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brother I donated this it's from an anonymous brother Allahu Akbar or anonymous sister has done this if possible it would give you a better deal you would get better returns for that investment Allahu Akbar because you have done it solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when we say hide your deed, we learn from this that when you are fulfilling voluntary prayer, it is best to do it at home. This is the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Your farad, you read in the masjid. And obviously, if you're a person who's weak, you and I would want to read our sunnah and etc. etc. in the masjid as well. Because perhaps if we left and we left it, we would not even read it. So it's better in those cases to make sure you read it in the masjid. But the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu speaks of how important it is to liven up the home by engaging in voluntary acts of salah or voluntary acts of worship like reading of the Quran and so on within the home. So that number one is you liven up the home. The angels of mercy, the angels that come with the blessings would actually be around the home and surrounding and the blessings would be descending and it would be a better deal for you. So much so that the Prophet ﷺ speaks of Salatul Tahajjud. You know, Tahajjud is in the early hours of the morning or the, 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 the last third of the night as it would be. In that particular Salah, the best thing to do is to read your prayer whilst the others are asleep. Get up in a way that you haven't disturbed anyone. It's a voluntary prayer unless your spouse or children or someone parents have told you to get them up because they would like to fulfill the salah. The best deal you could get is to do it in a silent manner. No one knows you got up. No one knows you made your wudu. No one knows you fulfill salah because that can only be for the sake of Allah. So this is what we mean when we say hide your deed. When you hide your deed, there is a better deal that you struck with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, when I'm reading my Quran, I may do so. There's nothing wrong. I can do it in the masjid. I can read it here. I can do my deeds, but I would get a better deal if I were to do it silently, quietly, without anyone watching. And that would be the best for me. May Allah make it easy for us to do that.